Bernard Huzon, and I'm the director for the opera Tosca. I've done Tosca, I think, 14 or 15 times. I've directed the opera with different kind of productions, different kind of set. But they are always, I like to do it in a traditional way. Because I think the background is very important. There is too many references during the opera to Napoleon and to some battles. The background historically is the time of Napoleon in Italy and Napoleon in France. But when Napoleon decided to uh, make Italy actually a province of France or almost a region under the influence of France. So it's during this political, extreme political struggle so Tosca is a diva, a young woman, very temperamental, that's why I call her a diva. I mean, for us in opera, she's a typical soprano. <laughs> and, but like all the Puccini heroines, she has also a lot of fragility. To make Tosca only a very strong woman, screaming and jealous and all this, for me is going not to the real truth of who Tosca is. Because I want to set the idea that actually you like each other, okay. in a way. You, you think he's wrong, Volteriano and all this, but it's like a couple with the same yeah. arguments every day about nothing. And you think he's funny. Okay. Dami, color, revive. You can even go. Va, va, va. How could you not like him? Yeah, exactly. Va, 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 me chercher les couleurs, etc. Hello, my name is Luis Ledesma. I'm a baritone. I'm playing the Baron Scarpia. Puccini give the opportunity, I will say, to a baritone to do incredible things. Give the chance to present the best lines of the baritone, like in the middle voice, what we see, more than the high notes or the lower voice, the middle voice. Give you the time to make a, a beautiful legato, dolce sound, and eventually he pumps so much sound, not only with the orchestra, but vocally too. He requires like you are like erupting, you know, because that, that's those, that moment in the Tadeo, when he's saying uh, in a moment, Tosca, you, you make me forget God. And all of a sudden you realize and the presence of God is behind you and you're like, God, what am I saying? And in some productions you collapse of like, oh, try to, to change your mind. Like I asked Bernard, you want, you want me to flagellate myself? He said, that's a little much, but to me, I believe in this kind of drama, you know. Scarpia is doing bad things to get what he wants. In this case, the love of Tosca. I love those roles. So really, I am able to cry in the stage without thinking like, oh, now I will cry. F thinking of the text and Italian is like my Spanish is right there. It goes into my mind, to my heart, and eventually when I say a moment that really hurts, my everything changes. You know, all of a sudden I'm like leaving the, the character, not only playing the character. Really, really happy to, to be playing the game, Tosca. If I wake up angry, bitter, mean, my favorite character is Carpio. If I wake up still thinking that I had a great life and I had great loves, and I have a great love in my wife, actually, now, etc. My favorite character is Tosca. And if I wake up wishing I could have been somebody in my life else that I am, my favorite character is Cavaredos. <laughs> you leave the theater, and even if you see Ca Tosca for the first time, you are trying to be humming the big areas of the opera. So, of course, he stays in you. All the characters, even the bad guys, Carpia. You like them. You like them because, like I said, you could dream being Scarpia at one moment in your life. So for all these reasons, it's one of the favorite opera in the, in the repertoire.